want you to forget this whole affair. Get this idea of an engagement out of your head. Oh, but, Father, you haven't even met Charlie yet. In these days of financial depression, my dear, a young girl must look forward to marrying a man who can take care of her, who can provide for her in case of a rainy day. But Charlie has great promise. I won't even consider meeting him until he has accumulated at least uh, $50,000 so that he may start right. When the world is against me and friends turn me down, there's someone that's always true blue. I can count on a handshake and never a frown from a dear little pal like you. <laughs> How's that, boy? <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. No, on second thought, I think I'll wear my Sunday suit. You'll have to give me a little more time, uh, Mr. Mann. What do you mean, a little more time? Why, haven't you been reading in the Democratic papers about this terrible business depression? Why, the whole world is in a slump. Slump or no slump, you pay your rent or out you go. And that goes for you too, Mr. Cook. Oh, well, Mrs. Mann, good times are coming. Just around the corner. <laughs> what corner? Oh, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> Correspondence course I sent for. Force and will. Guess what I need. The human brain is the motor of the soul. To dominate the world, you must use force, perseverance, and willpower. The willpower to sway multitudes like a reed bending before a mighty storm. You too can be a Napoleon. <laughs> All through the ages, the weak have bowed before the strong. Be strong! Be masterful! Dominate! And to think of the time I've wasted, I should have my face smacked. I know what I'll do. I'll show that landlady that I've got willpower. I'll dominate her, that's what I'll do. I'll dominate her. You watch. Mr. Man! Do you realize that all through the ages the weak have bowed before the strong? What has that got to do with your rent? Just this. It's only the weak that put the power of money before the bigger and better things of life. Let me tell you, there's nothing bigger and better than paying your rent. Yes, there is. Can you imagine Napoleon paying rent? There was a man with the strength and willpower to sway multitudes like a reed bending before a mighty storm. All right, Napoleon. If you're so strong, you can get behind this counter and work out some of your rent. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Cookie, what do you want? 
I want you to help me get this trunk out. What about the landlady? Never mind the landlady. Leave it to me. Grab it. Nobody here. Let's get out quick. What's the idea? Oh, uh, why, why, this is Mr. Felix, a good friend of mine. He wants to room and board with us for a little while until things get better. And uh, he, he brought his trunk with him. <laughs> Birds of a feather, eh? I suppose he won't be able to pay his rent either. Get this, Mr. Cook. We'll have no more of your ill around this establishment. Get out. Take your trunk with you. Come, 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 come. Oh, to think I never realized my possibilities before. I'd like to know where you're going with that trunk, Mr. Cook. Oh, it's none of my doings, Mrs. Mann. Charlie ordered me out bag and baggage. He did, did he? Good morning. Good morning. It's a fine way to treat a gentleman with force and will. <laughs> Sure, I'll. What, no fuel? It's this depression. I can't afford it. Depression. <laughs> ah. Money or I'll shoot. Gee, brother, the depression is on me. No money. You think the depression is on you? No bullets. That's tough. Say, this depression is terrible. I wonder how much longer it's going to keep up. Depression or no depression, we're going to lay our hands on some real money. Yeah, how? Listen to this. Mr. James Morgan, deliver at once $50,000 to the bearer of this note or suffer the consequences. We mean business. The spot. Jim, that's risky. You're not going to lay yourself wide open by delivering that in person. I put a come-along ad in this morning's paper. 
for some bright young man with force and personality. We should be getting an answer any moment now. I'll sway them like a reed bending before a mighty storm. When do I go to work? Oh, you're the man that's looking for the job. I'm the man that's got the job. Well, I suppose you understand that this is a job that calls for a lot of nerve, personality, and judgment. Uh, then I'm just your man. Why, from the cradle up, I've been a dominating force, a go-getter, a doer. Afraid of nothing, eh? Absolutely fearless. Gentlemen, with me, there is no such a word as it can't be did, done. Well, you're just the man that we want. And your first assignment would be to deliver this note to Mr. Morgan, room 913 on the same floor. And be sure and wait for an answer. My fellow, you've got your answer. Check and triple check, gents. Tide waits for no man. Oh, it's the same old back teeth. Kept me awake all night. I wonder what can be keeping that guy. Joe, go on outside and take a look. This is the place. Well, hey, you think it's out on this time? Yes, sir. And I'm not going to wait another minute longer. How many are there? Well, there's uh, four of them, I think. But I'm going to pull every last one of them. Look! He's marking the money, Joe. Looks like we're in a jam. Look! Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, Come on Waiting, Mr. Morgan. You've got something else that I'm going to get, Mr. Morgan. You'll hear from me later. so much of your time. Whatever's in that envelope, you can keep for your trouble.
seen you. Hello, Charlie. What's the matter? I have bad news for you. Bad news? What? Father says we can't become engaged until you've accumulated fifty thousand dollars. Ha ha ha. Hey, focus on that, baby. Where'd you get it? Oh, I accumulated it. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh, darling, things are beginning to look brighter now. I can see the little flowers sprouting and the little bees twittering. And with you by my side, I can sway the world like a reed bending before a mighty cyclone. <laughs> Good. Father, I have wonderful news. Oh, don't bother me now. I have too much on my mind. You must listen. Well, did you pull them all? No. Just two uppers and the three lowers. You insisted that Charlie make money. Well, he's done it. He's made a fortune, and he's waiting outside to tell you all about it. Oh, very well. Bring him in. meet you after a while. Come, my dear. 